Good morning. Today we're talking about flexion and it will make sense. But first I'm on my knees because it's a good place to be. So we'll start this time in prayer and then we'll do some brilliant flexion exercises and I have a little helper today to show you too. So let's commit this time. So Father, we thank you another day, another day to serve you, another day to glorify you. And we ask that everything we do today, whether we're indoors, whether we're in isolation, whether we're walking, Whatever we're doing, Lord, we just want to honour you, glorify you, commit our thoughts, our minds, our hearts, our bodies, our souls in worship to you with all that we are and all that we do. Amen. So today we're about flexion. If you know anything about sensory processing, then flexion is a really important part of our development, of our, of, of, of our you know, human natural development. So I'm going to bring my little helper over. This is Matt. So Matt's going to lie down and uh, if you've seen my videos before you'll know that the egg position is a really important position and that is the flexion position. So Matt if you get yourself cross your arms over up here, lift your head up and lift your knees up and just hold it there. So we normally want, if your child is over seven in particular then they should be able to hold this position for, um, for a good 30 seconds. But not, able, not everybody is able to do that. Um, it affects lots of organization of the body, lots of planning, lots of thoughts, all go into being able to hold this position as well as core muscle strength in all the flexors. Okay, you relax. <laughs> so we are going to work on little steps to help develop those flexor muscles, to help pass time for you, to build up the core and to enjoy some lovely time together. Some of these activities the children can do on their own, the teenagers can do on their own, adults you can do on your own, or you can do it in pairs or threes or fours. <clears throat> so the first one is, I'm just going to put some things over here for Matt to try and collect with his feet. So if you put things down at their feet and you want them to lift their feet over, bring their knees into flexion and then drop it into a box over the other side. So have a go. You might need to flex your neck to see what it is. Ah, oh, nearly. Try again. With your feet's better. <laughs> Lovely. That's brilliant. So you get the idea. You can use anything. I don't know if you can see that. Can you? You might have to look look up a bit. Are you happy to feel with your feet? Nice. Okay. So you can have fun with those. Um, and also you can do it with teddies, you can do it with balls, you can do it with bean bags, you can do it with cushions, whatever you've got in the house. And the other way is, this is flexion using the neck and the arms and the tummy muscles. So you put your box or your wash basket, whatever you've got on the other side, try and use two hands. Okay, bring yourself up your tummy muscles, look where you're going, lift yourself up. <laughs> That's cheating. Okay, we'll try again. Go back on the floor. You have to reach over, pull yourself up. Good shot. Right, there's two more. Huh? You want me to put it further? <laughs> and that's it. When they want to be tested, when they want to be moved, then go with it. You missed. Yeah. You can also hold it up if it's just that little bit difficult for them. You can hold it up and they can try and get it in that way. Good shot. Right, now can you stretch? Bit of extension here, why not? You get it? Yeah. Yo, good shot. So, another idea is with a ball. You can use whatever size of ball you want. It can be, this one's just an inflatable space hopper. You can use the gym balls or, you know, whatever size ball you've got. I'm just gonna throw it at Matt's feet and he's gonna kick it back to me. So if you bring your knees up, bring your knees up to your tummy and then show me the flat of your feet. There you go. I'm going to throw it. Good shot. Woo, nice one. Lovely. So you can do this for as long as you want. It's quite fun. If you get it into a nice rhythm, it's really quite satisfying too. Okay. So that's one of our flexion ones. And this, we're going up a higher level higher level skills. We'll start with one ball first, again in that flexion position, and it's a roll and catch. <clears throat> so bring your knees up, Matt, and I'm going to roll it to you, and I want you to catch it and then throw it back to me, okay? 
bring your knees a bit further forwards. Okay. Nice. Lovely. And it's nice to see Matt just bringing his head forward. Whoop. And uh, to throw it back to me. Because part of the flexion, often the neck muscles are the weakest. And it's harder. So it's just a nice way of <laughs> training up those neck muscles. Okay. So <laughs> this time, okay, this is where we take it up a step. And we're going to use two balls. And this is real sequencing and timing. So you're right to go for another one? Okay, we're going to split it. I'll roll the two. So knees up again. If it's easier to bring your knees, what's that? Can I hold them? <laughs> if your child needs you to hold them, then hold them for them. Right, okay. Right, so, and then you alternate it. So as they throw, you roll. And that's why if you have, try it with your knees up a minute. Try it, pull your knees up there. I'll try it. Because sometimes it's a bit easier if your knees are a bit further, further into you. Ooh. <laughs> but you get the idea. Okay, so that's just some of our flexion exercises this morning. So yes, go flex. Absolutely. And enjoy the day. All the very best. Bye bye.